mother, Jenna, comes into the house. I'm sitting in the living room with my other mom, Kelly. Jenna asks us if we'll take a drive with her. So we all get in the car. And as we drive, silence creeps along like the cracks in a frozen lake. Our hearts begin to thud slowly, off beat. And I wonder, and then I know. And I didn't imagine it would end like this. I didn't imagine an ending at all, but if they were going to tell me about the divorce, what a way to do it. I sit in the back seat and think about how lucky we were to have had this family. Their 20 years of marriage, my 15 with them. I remember all of us driving for miles out on the highway until I fell asleep in the back seat. I don't want this life to end. Jenna starts to talk. She tells me that our car is just 13 miles away from reaching 100,000 miles now. I wonder if this is part of the divorce speech or just a distraction. I feel angry. They should just say it. She tells me the reason we took this ride is so that we could all be there to reach 100,000 miles together as the people who matter in her life. Slowly, I realize that this isn't a breakup ride or a divorce ride or a separation ride. This is a 100,000 mile ride. We're in the car and we're driving on a Tuesday night and we're 99,987 miles in. We stop for onion rings and Sundays keep driving. 99,993 miles, CV Nicks. 99,997 miles, Elton John. When we get to 99,999 miles, we hold hands, blast Melissa Etheridge, and sing Lucky at the top of our lungs. There are too many reasons that my mamas found love in each other presence. There are too many moments when we are unbreakable and in this moment we are one family. Constructing road as we go, burning bridges behind us, adding mileage like graceful aging, driving in our car towards moonlight. 